boys, 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 how you guys doing? I know I don't really do videos, but this is something that you guys requested in my stream yesterday. Basically, what I'm going to show you is my custom tactics and my player instructions in game and my custom formation, what I do in game. So if you are new around here, there is a giveaway in this video. All you need to do is make sure you share this video out, tag me in it and make sure you hit that big thumbs up button. So if you share and you hit the thumbs up button, you have a chance of winning 4,600 FIFA points. Make sure to do it boys, I really would appreciate it if you could get involved, tweet out the stream and like the video. That's all you gotta do, it doesn't take a lot. Make sure to tag me in when you tweet me out as well. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Now a lot of you guys know that I am a professional FIFA player for Northampton Town. And you know, um, some people ask me what what my instructions are. So this is a whole video where every single one of you has the opportunity now to look and see what my tactics are, what my instructions are in game, and what formation I also like to use. So first of all, we're gonna go straight in with the custom tactics. Now, my custom tactics are based off of my own. I have not built these off of anybody else. This is me just trying to work out what I prefer and this is what I prefer. I mean, sometimes I change the defensive to who I'm playing against, but we start off with 75 speed and 60 passing and organized positioning. If people have it on free roam, which you can change it to, I think your team just is a bit too everywhere. So I like to have that basic structure of organized team. And the speed, I'm a quite a fast player. So if you're a fast player, if you like build it, if you like fast build up play, then that is what you want. Um, and passing, I pass the ball a lot. So I could potentially put that up to about 65, 70. If you don't pass the ball a lot, turn it down a bit. Put it to 50 and you know, it, it, will, it will basically, the, these are mine, but you guys should be able to make yours out of it as well. So chance creation, like I said, Passing for the build up player 60, chance creation 65 because I pass the ball a lot, like I just said. So I want my passes to be everywhere basically. I, I don't know, I, I feel like these are just perfect. Passing 65, crossing 60, shooting 55, and positioning again is organized because you can set it to free roam. Uh, so, like I said, I prefer an organized, structured team. And if, 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 if it was my choice, like I would be, I would rather pinpoint my players where to have them in the game. But you know, that that's my own opinion. So shooting 65, I don't really shoot a lot, so that's the reason why it's on 65. Um, but when I do shoot, uh, basically it's going to be a goal. Uh, I like to uh, make sure that I'm going to score before you know, before it happens. So let's move on to the defensive then. My defense is 50 pressure, 45 aggression, 50 team width and cover for the defensive line. Now, 50 pressure uh, and 50 team width is what Ultimate Team always sets it up. So if you haven't touched it, it should be on 50, 50, and 50. Um, so aggression, I turned down to 45 because I like using high attacking defenders. So my def team push up a lot. Uh, and if you, if you use like Sergio Ramos in game, he has a high aggressive sort of stat in game so a lot a lot of it is to do with you guys and what sort of players you use in game so like and also the defensive line you can have it as offside trap uh but i prefer cover so your team doesn't just run about and you know cause you to have tons of goals put past you so that is my custom tactics guys i hope you guys can you know build your own custom tactics off it this is what i like to use in game um, I don't really I don't really know if this is gonna help you guys but I, I'm sure it will because a lot of people ask for mine and they say that they're they're good so make sure guys if you use, do use this custom tactics let me know in the comments so now down to my custom formation in game now this is my team Kuyate and Emre Shan do not stay in the team. Uh, I ha just had to do the Henri SBC, so I've got players selling and all that. Um, so yeah, I'm now going to show you my custom formation, what I like to use in game, and my player instructions. So this is what I use to start off the game, because you can have any left wing you like in the game, 
and you can also have pretty much any right wing in the game as well um, so you know it's quite good this formation so and also I find that the left back you can have any kind of um, left back as well because obviously I've got the icons scattered around but if you can't afford icons then this is another good formation for you to hybrid link teams so it's pretty good it's a pretty good formation to start for the game a lot of you use 4-3-2-1 I like to use this because it's just easier and what when I go into in-game it's pretty much set up for me anyway so my in-game formation is the 4-2-3-1 second variation now you're probably not going to be able to see uh, my right mid because of the camera but this is the formation I like to use so now you guys are probably going, well, what are you going to do from here? I'm going to put Alessandrini right mid, and then I'll put um, Ronaldinho cap. So that is pretty much how I would set up my team. Uh, I find that Vane is so good playing left mid, left wing. He's so good. I don't like him as a left forward. I prefer him to be, if you're going to play him, play him striker. If you're not, play him left mid or left wing. Uh, it actually makes a difference, surprisingly. And then obviously you've got Alessandrini, who's ridiculously good as well. And Ronaldinho, you know, the guy is... The stats just shows how good he is. But we're not on that video. We're now on my video to do with my player instructions. So, this is going to help you guys out a lot. A lot of you don't know how player instructions work. So, my player instructions are... So, to find your player instructions, you literally just click Y or you click triangle and then you go down to player instructions right so I obviously don't set any of these up in game so you guys are going to be seeing how I do it in game but obviously it doesn't say for me because it's not in game so support runs I have stay central um, and then I have attacking runs getting behind and I also have um, defensive pressing press the back line so basically Henri should be on the back line of the defence in between the two centre backs throughout the whole game. He should not go wandering. This is where he should be. Uh, so that's th this is perfect for the striker. For my left mid, I have stay forward, I have stay wide, and I have get in behind. Basically, if th if this guy has got an attacking uh, wing backs, he is going to get caught out with Mane being like behind his defence already. So this is perfect. This is actually one of the best things that I like about this formation is your right and your right and left wingers actually turn out to be probably your huge key moments in the game. So on to the cam position. This is one is pretty straightforward. Literally all I do is for my cam is stay forward. Stay forward for the defensive support. He pretty much doesn't come back anyway because he hasn't got the greatest work rate. But you know, stay forward is where I like to have him at. To be fair guys, like he is just so good. Um, if you can get anybody in the cam position that is a bit of a workhorse, this is perfect. Stay forward. They'll drift back a little bit because they obviously have to do their defensive duties sometimes. But on the counter attack, you would have your striker and your cam as a partner. So the right midfielder, I also have as I don't use the defensive support. I use cut inside and get in behind. So I want my right mid now to basically play next to... Uh, Ronaldinho and I like to make him come back a bit so he gives Carl Walker a bit of a defensive like a bit of strength in the team so he actually pushes into the midfield as a bit of a centre mid um, but without without any like he goes all the time down the wing so it, it's pretty it works but obviously there's that thing to do with what makes it work for you so I like I like this formation just because it's so defensively strong and this is one of the key weaknesses in my game. I score so many goals but I just can't defend. So my two centre defensive mids I have as man mark and stay back while attacking for both of them. Um, I just like to have them sat back, cover the defence, man mark probably, it will probably be their strikers that they man mark or it will be um, like the cam for this situation. So I find this is perfect, man marking them, and it's, they're just so tight to the defence. And then my left back I have stay back, and my right back I have stay back. So that is now my player instructions. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, you can re-watch this video and obviously make sure to, to get them pinpoint and perfect. 
Remember guys, if you haven't already shared this video out, make sure to tag me on it on Twitter. And also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new as well. I really would appreciate that. We've just hit 13,300 subscribers. So a huge shout out to every single one of you. I do do daily streams and stuff. So thank you so much to everybody that's joining this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope it works for you. Like I said, some people are different. So it, sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. But a huge shout out to everybody watching this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.